Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. March 6th, 2018. What once was green is now white and very, very moist. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Jeremy Crosby here from the Talking Fitchburg Studios worldwide. And right here on your television or computer or mobile device or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah, that packing snow fell, and it fell like once it was starting, mm -hmm. is not turning back. Nope. Good stuff out there. Mm -hmm. I went out and uh, with the dog and packed some snow and mm -hmm. threw some snowballs. There you go. It was cool. I was thinking maybe we could have went outside and made it like a Fact TV snowman or something oh, there today. You go. But it's very packable. Yeah, I didn't bring gloves. So I, don't, I know. don't think I did either. Yeah. Maybe I have some in the truck. I have a hat. I don't think I have gloves. <laughs> it's not helpful. Hmm. Hmm. The kids like it, though? Your kids got to go outside and enjoy yeah, this, right? I'm sure they'll go out today when we get home. Lily's just still small enough where she just would stand there and just, like, so she can't it's figure so it out. Packable, like, they'll want to make something. This is the perfect time to make a fort. It is. Yep. Enjoy those outdoors. Oh, yeah. It's not, you know, really get winter's going away, you know? Yep. We're getting there. We don't get mu as much snow as we used to. No. Of course, everybody was like, ah, we don't want the snow, <laughs> which was me yesterday. So <laughs> I guess. Oh, uh, well, because we don't want to drive in what we had to drive in. Yeah. That's the other part. No, you and I split. We got out of here we early. We got out here early. We didn't want to take any chances. Yeah, but then it came late, but it's okay. Better, you know. Better safe than sorry. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Safety first on this show. That's what it's about. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, tell you what's coming up on the show today. Uh, we'll tell you about uh, just how much snow fell here uh, in Fitchburg and surrounding areas, and, of course, your other headlines for the day. Uh, then we're talking because it's National Consumer Protection Week. We're going to look back at the top ten complaints in Wisconsin, and uh, tomorrow we'll look further into uh, just uh, staying safe and uh, protected from our friends at the Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection. And then Tony King stopping by, always a delight. See that guy. He'll be in uh, studio today, and uh, telling you what's coming up here in the month of March, and then wrap it up with what's coming up on the Com Channel tonight. But first, we take a look here at uh, your snow as it continues. Yeah, there were still some flurries outside uh, going on today. This was radar earlier in the day. Next slide has the uh, the snow and the that, uh, yeah, it has snow. And the snow is going to continue uh, through uh, the rest of the day. And it says temperatures uh, will be above freezing overall of southern Wisconsin for the afternoon. So roads will remain wet, but cooling temperatures tonight may allow for some slippery spots to develop. Snow accumulations will be around one inch. And uh, snowfall amounts uh, is anywhere from two to five inches fell across the area uh, and from what I can tell like Mount Horeb they saw five in, five and a half you know 5.5 .5 inches of snow uh, let's see here Maple Bluff and they had 3.1 inches Stoughton 3.5 Verona 4.7 and 4.0 on the northeast side of Madison so I don't know I think we were right in the three and a half inches here in the city of Fitchburg, but just keep in mind that it is wet snow, and uh, if you haven't already shoveled it off, make sure you shovel it off before it freezes, because then it's really going to be a pain in the butt to get off uh, off your driveway and sidewalk. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind uh, as as you get that cleaned up. And yeah, it's the, I like the after snow today with the, just the big snowflakes. Right. They, they just look this looks pretty it's outside. It's very pretty outside with yeah. the snow. Mm -hmm. So and you've got to you know. At least it's not too cold. So no, yeah, that's terrible on. right now. Yeah. And temperatures are going to be, I mean, a little bit colder, but then they get warmer as the week goes on. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that snow sticks around too long, but mm -hmm. we'll keep you up to date either way. All right, we got an update for you uh, from a story that we had yesterday from over the weekend. A hit and run driver uh, has been identified. Uh, a 21 year old woman from uh, Fitchburg has been identified as the driver of the hit and run crash into an apartment building in the 300 block of Leopold Way. On Sunday, the woman told officers she inadvertently hit the accelerator instead of the brake, causing the vehicle to drive over the parking barrier and into the building. 
She was cited for hit and run and failure to notify police of the accident. And uh, yeah, this happened on uh, Sunday around 10 o'clock. And yeah, caused some pretty uh, significant damage, enough that uh, residents could not stay in uh, that apartment. So uh, close the case on that one either way. Uh, well, with the snow and stuff going on, I uh, want to remind you that alternate side parking still in effect. Yep, that's right. Keep this in mind, that alternate side parking is in effect uh, November 15th through March 15th. So it's coming up where it ends, but we still got a little bit more here. No person may park any vehicle between the hours of 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. on the even number side of the street on the odd calendar days and uh, on the odd number side of streets on the even calendar days. So keep that in mind. Look at the graphic there. That will help you uh, depict what you need to do. But this helps uh, plow trucks get all of that snow off the roads. So it works out good. Then we don't have to worry about snow emergencies or anything like that. All right, how about this? Read to a dog at the Fitchburg Public Library. Yeah, this is a really cool thing. Read to a dog is a wonderful way to build reading skills and confidence. Independent readers in grades K through 5 can sign up for a 20-minute spot to sit down and read with a registered therapy animal. What if that animal was named Spot? <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Read a book with Spot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sign up is required uh, for this. It's 5 p.m. March 20th. Uh, event it, and you can call or stop by either way, but you got to stop by the youth services desk to sign up. All right, moving forward here, don't miss the uh, annual Verona Area High School Carnival. Yeah, this is nice. This is uh, on March 17th from 10.30 to 1 p.m. at our Verona Area High School. Students connect with our younger children and give back to the community. Bring your children's ages 3 to 10, as all kids will receive a small gift bag with their $5 entry fee. And you can find out more by just heading over uh, to the website. We'll post up the link. Um, but either way, don't miss out. March 17th, that's coming up. All right, moving forward. March Madness students have the month to enter the Wisconsin Yes program. Countdown is underway for the middle and high school students to enter the Wisconsin Youth uh, Apprenters uh, in Science, a statewide youth business plan. Uh, a contest model after the successful governor's business plan contest is it open for it is open for online entries for the Wisconsin uh, middle and high school students through 5 p.m. April 2nd public private and homeschool students across Wisconsin you're all eligible to uh, turn in their science and tech related ideas into business plans and compete for cash and prizes and uh, this contest begins with a 250-word summary uh, submitted through www.wisconsinyes.com. More details on the website as well for that. It's going to be pretty cool indeed. All right, last but not least, wrapping up with a rather uh, weather-related story, and that's the statewide tornado drill. I should have pulled the file video of you, Andrew, taking cover oh, gosh, during the practice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, well, we'll be bringing that back up, don't oh, you yes, worry. Oh, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so this uh, the statewide uh, tornado drill. It's never too early to talk about this stuff. Is Thursday, April twelfth, twenty eighteen. This will be a, uh, including a test tornado watch that will be issued at one p.m. A test tornado warning that will be issued at one forty-five p.m. And then another, uh, and then the watch and warning will be canceled at two p.m. A second test, uh, which they tried an evening one last year, happens at six forty-five because we were always practicing this during the day, but never at night. Right when you're home. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a good idea. So many Wisconsin radio and TV stations will participate in the drill. Same with us. And uh, yeah, this is a good time to make sure weather radio works and you have your plan in place. And of course, we'll talk about that uh, more when it gets closer. They've got those storm spotting classes too happening as well. So time to gear up already for the spring. It's nice to talk about spring just after a winter storm, right? <laughs> Uh, all right, that does it for headlines. We're going to take a quick break. Coming up next, we're talking about National Consumer Protection Week. What's going on right now? Stay tuned. You're watching Talking Pitchforks. <laughs> 